Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. And today we're going to look at Vincent Price giving his greatest performance in the 1968 Michael Reeves film, The Witchfinder General. So it's 1645, and Vincent Price plays a barbaric witch hunter, a man who's drunk with power, is corrupt. I guess if this were made today, it would be what you might call a torture porn film. Uh, but it's actually a masterpiece. Uh, Michael Reeves, who co-wrote and directed it, uh, had only done two other films at that point, uh, The She-Beast and The Sorcerers. Um, uh, Sorcerers starred Boris Karloff, and all of his films feature Ian Ogilvy. But he was a young guy who just absolutely loved films. Um, everyone around him was convinced he was going to be the next Orson Welles. He started his career by actually uh, tracking down uh, the great director Don Siegel and uh, begging to work with him and became his assistant for a while. But this is his masterpiece. He uh, originally wrote it uh, for Donald Pleasance and was not 100% thrilled to get Vincent Price because at the time he felt like Price had gotten kind of campy and sort of devolved in his acting style. He'd been doing a lot of those Corman Poe films. And at first, the two of them did not get along too well. He felt that Price was overacting. Uh, there's a legendary story in which uh, Reeves was giving uh, uh, Vincent Price some direction, telling him to tone it down. And uh, Vincent Price reared back and said, young man, I've been in 84 films. How many have you made? And Reeves looked at him and said, two good ones. And uh, apparently Vincent Price laughed harder than anybody on the set and the two of them got along. Amongst the most pleasurable aspects of victory, gentlemen. The end result is absolutely, and Vincent Price will be the first one to tell you if you're still around, his best performance. He's chilling and terrifying in this thing. Uh, there's Wilfred Bramble in a small part. He played Paul McCartney's grandfather in uh, Hard Day's Night. Um, when this movie was released in the United States, they retitled it The Conqueror Worm after an Edgar Allan Poe poem. I guess they were trying to cash in on the successful Poe films uh, that Price had made with Roger Corman. Sadly, Michael Reeves uh, died a few months after this film came out of a barbiturate overdose. Man's inhumanity to man portrayed on the screen so vividly that you flinch. The film was quite successful, uh, got great reviews, and he was off uh, on what looked like a very promising career that was cut very, very short. But it's an absolutely magnificent film and worth seeking out. Be the first to see it. Be the first to talk about it. The Witchfinder General.